if you'd like to tell me a little bit about your personal history and military background. Uh, I'm a uh, local attorney. I've been practicing law in uh, Ashtabula County uh, for more than 30 years uh, in uh, Geneva. Recently uh, moved my office to uh, uh, Carpenter Road in Saybrook. I did have some military experience uh, directly after undergraduate school and uh, I was a, a product of the uh, ROTC program down in uh, Ohio University. Uh, I spent a year in Vietnam uh, and uh, directly after that uh, military service um, I uh, spent uh, several years with uh, organized labor. I'm uh, particularly proud of uh, one of my boys who's uh, uh, just finished his uh, active duty commitment with uh, the U.S. Army uh, where he is a sergeant in the uh, reserves and currently going to uh, uh, Cleveland Marshall Law School in his uh, first year. The most important, which was my father, and that was uh, World War II. He served uh, with the uh, 4th Infantry Division uh, and participated in the invasion uh, of Normandy on D-Day. In his later life, uh, he had said that uh, that day was the reason he was on this earth. And I'm, I'm quite proud of uh, the standard that he set uh, for our family. And uh, I believe I've upheld that, serving with uh, both the 4th Infantry Division and the 101st Airborne Division in Vietnam. And uh, my uh, son has uh, uh, continued that in special uh, operations uh, in uh, uh, Afghanistan, principally serving uh, uh, at the embassy. What prompted you to attend law school? Well, I was, I think I mentioned earlier, I was in, uh, in Florida at the time working with uh, Communication Workers of America and uh, principally organizing. And I, I truly loved that work and uh, I think I burnt myself out. I just did it 24 7. And a doctor advised me that I can't go on like I quit work and went to law school in Fort Lauderdale at Nova Law Center. And uh, upon completion of that uh, program, uh, I ended up in Ashtabula County for the first time in my life. And Bill and I had no experience here. We put up that sign that said O'Neill and Brown Law Office, and that's the only thing we owned. Uh, and uh, we made it uh, made a pretty good career of it. Uh, when I arrived in Ashtabula County, I uh, became very actively involved with our uh, local uh, Democratic Party. Uh, one uh, person who I have such great admiration for was our chairman, we thought forever, Nelson Humphrey, um, who uh, uh, really laid down a foundation for our Democratic Party in this county. And I will be forever indebted to Nelson Humphrey for the uh, kind of... Uh, information and experiences that, uh, that he shared with me. Um, he has been followed uh, with the Democratic Party by our current chairman, Dwayne Fear, uh, who's uh, been a friend of mine longer than I've lived in Ashtabula County. Um, I have been very active politically and uh, have never had my name on the ballot prior to this election. Um, it was something that was suggested uh, by several people. Uh, I considered it, and uh, I felt very comfortable in my practice at the time, at, at this time, and uh, saw that as an opportunity for expanding horizons and, uh, and to fulfill a need uh, in that this county is, uh, uh, the judicial system is kind of passing the torch uh, with several retirements, uh, specifically three this year. Uh, those open seats are the most important thing that we've got to deal with right now. I looked around and uh, felt that uh, I was uh, um, well qualified to put my name in the hat for one of those seats and did so. If you'd like to tell me why the electorate should vote for Tom Brown. Well, I believe that uh, I deserve the uh, votes of the uh, Democrats in this county for uh, several reasons. Uh, when I arrived here in uh, 1981 with what I believe was a good substantial background and experience, 
uh, I have since achieved uh, what I believe is a uh, uh, very appropriate foundation for the uh, office of a judge in Ashevila County. Um, I came here with a new wife, and the most important thing I did along with her was uh, raise a couple boys, and uh, we located uh, uh, principally and first in Geneva, primarily because of its, lost, uh, its uh, school system, and uh, uh, our choice has been uh, uh, confirmed as the right one with uh, a couple of well-educated boys that had gone on to uh, uh, bachelor's degrees and beyond, and uh, uh, our family life in uh, Geneva was a, a great foundation, and uh, I believe my exposure to that community as well as Ashville County has given me a perspective of uh, uh, what's necessary in the uh, legal process in this uh, county to deliver um, the service that uh, the people of Ashtabula County deserve. And I believe I can do that um, uh, very well and fair.